I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. A record 90 million Americans are no longer in the U.S. workforce. So basically, the Democrats love poor people so much, they're making more of them. <laughs> The New York Times blames America's stagnant economy on the job losses in the adult film industry. See? This wouldn't be happening if Bill Clinton were still in office. <laughs> First Lady Michelle Obama credits her anti-obesity program for changing the way kids eat. Actually, Michelle, the kids are afraid if they eat junk food, you'll have them arrested. <laughs> Reports claim in the wake of scandals revealed by Edward Snowden, the morale is extremely low at the NSA. It's gotten so bad, they now cheer themselves up by tapping Anthony Weiner's cell phone. <laughs> Marco Rubio has dropped to fifth place in the New Hampshire primary polls. Hmm, I wonder where he can get more people to vote for him. <laughs> Boston Mayor Thomas Menino said to save Detroit, he'd blow up Detroit and start all over. And today, the people of Detroit were like, hey, we already beat you to it. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh's new book, Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrims, has hit number one on Amazon a month before being released. Or, as liberals put it, Rush Limbaugh's a failure who nobody pays attention to anymore. <laughs> And finally, gay fashion designers Dolce & Gabbana have gone on record saying they do not support same-sex marriage. <laughs> Homophobes. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to tell your friends about us. We'll catch you next time.